When he was four years old, Chris couldn't wait to have a team and he couldn't wait to start playing. He wanted a team and a coach and we went to the trials, as they called them at Cronulla RSL, but it was really just to get the kids together. There was only four children in his team and he came to us at the end of the little thing with the other three boys that were in his team and he said, where's my team, where's the coach? And I said, I'll be your coach. And uh, Chris and I went round looking for other kids to play in the team. We managed to put together another four or five boys and uh, we made a little team to play. And I went and got my level one coaching certificate and um, yeah, the rest was history. I coached him for two years. Um, I had played again and scored five goals and I scored 74 so far. He was very competitive. He hated losing games. He'd cry if he didn't score every match. So he was a bit of a very passionate, very, very passionate player. Uh, it was really fun though. He, he was a good kid. He just had a passion for football from when he was three or four years old. Yeah, my, my earliest memories in football always have my mum in them. She was just uh, everything to me back then. She was uh, my mum, she was my teacher, she was my soccer coach. So no, she taught me a lot about um, about, about football and also about being a per good person. She was always persistent that we do each drill with our left and then our right foot. So um, yeah, she, she always tells me every time I might score a goal with my left foot, she goes, oh, that's because I taught you when you were five years old. You know, she's taught me a lot away from football, just in general life. She's taught me um, just to always be honest, honest with myself, um, just to be a good person and um, to always follow my dreams. You know, it's um, especially in the profession I'm doing, there's a lot of ups and downs but you just need to saddle up for the ride and um, just stay focused on what your goals are, your dreams, and, and just follow them till the end. He's taught me to have courage just to go for things and not go back and think that you can't do something just to move forward. He's, his strength in character and going overseas to Italy at 16 and sticking out some really quite challenging you know, circumstances and, and overcoming a lot of obstacles and never giving up that's what he taught me, just to keep going, and uh, yeah, he's very courageous to do that. In football, people see the product, they see the game, they see the players, but behind all the players, there's a family. So as a mum, you see the player as they're another, per they're just a person, and they have their good days, bad days. They they're exactly the same as everybody else. So I think as a as a mum, you just you don't see them in the limelight. You just see them as your child. <laughs>